Should we do a Kayleigh head sentence, really? Because, uh, yeah. No, there that's how we last start. <laughs> and a very good afternoon, warm welcome. No Irish dancers in the room today? No, no. cameras? No, no, no. We had a great day no on Friday and great reactions. So thank you very much Thank for you that. so much. We were inundated. What were we? Inundated. Inundated with phone calls and many, many inundated. times. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Friday. Three different shows today, but a packed Absolutely. one nonetheless. At the beginning of a brand new week on Open House, let's give you the phone numbers because I've no doubt you'd be wanting to get in touch. 1850-715-834. And if you're watching us from outside the Republic, well then the number is 0800 039 0118. That's Just very checking. true. Oh, it's, working, <laughs> it's working a treat. So you can see behind us now, yeah, welcome to Pen Who. So, now, let's tell you what's coming up on the programme today. Ben Who, here we go. Let's have a look at the list. Do that. Now, hey, yeah, uh, fashion for spring. I thought it was fashion on the screen. Fashion for spring. Uh, that's coming up any minute. Now, the A-team, we have one of the A-team here today. Five past three, in for a chat. Uh, home for a pet. That could involve you, I'm afraid. Half past three today. Celebrity stalkers, David Harvey's in. Um, well, it's a heck of a story. He's here, he's got a brand new book to tell you about it. Uh, well, it'll be 3.40 this afternoon, and our family album will be following that at around uh, 10 minutes uh, to 4. That and less on Open House today. Well, it's not fashion on a string, it's not fashion on a shoestring, but it is fashion for spring. And apparently it's spring, uh, Shana, the, the, the kind of the sales are over. Thankfully. Thank God. <laughs> January is over. Thank God. Yes. I hate January, do you? And January is the worst time month. for anybody who works in the fashion industry because you're left with all this stock that you're trying to get rid of. You're waiting for the new stock and it hasn't arrived in. So it's only at the end of January, beginning of February, that new stock actually arrives in. So it's like Christmas and it's for anybody who works in a shop. It's freezing, yeah. I know, so it's not but nice colour. That point of view. It's so wonderful to see colour coming back into the shops. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So they're, they're, they're all coming in now and it's um, the, the looks for this spring are kind of dictated to us to a certain extent. They, they are. One of the things I, I was showing earlier was this magazine. It's a supplement that comes with Vogue in the February edition. And it's basically everybody's Bible in terms of what's going to be in for this season. And you get it in autumn, winter, and you get it for spring, summer. So that's what we should be wearing, is it? it what they do is they go to all the fashion shows and they categorize them all into mm. different sections, for example. Different looks. Different looks. Mm -hmm. um, they'll talk about looks, sport. They'll talk. We'll be going through some of these looks. But right. they categorize that's them nice, for that you. That's nice, that goldy so that, one, isn't it? Well, we're going to be doing a high street look of this, an example of this little oh. mini. And that's one of the first outfits that's going to be coming oh, out. Oh, right, okay. So that, what, the, what happens then is that the department stores take these and do kind of Well, the department stores would have been, yeah, taking their inspiration from the catwalks when they were, when, um, because a lot of the spring, summer catwalks shows actually happened in autumn, winter of last year. Yeah. I don't know how they get their heads around <laughs> that. I really don't know how they cope with that to go from, you know, a year in advance. Anyway, let's have a look at that first outfit, which is the, the rip off of that. The rip off of the Jill Holly. Saunders. This Here is the, uh, oh, yeah, High Street good. version from Warehouse. And one of the key fabrics that's in this season is satin. This is actually Not a lot a of it, Jaina, but it is satin. <laughs> you can have more of it if you like. Really? Um, but this is actually 100% silk, but made to, to have that sheeny satin look. And it's one of the key fabrics. You're going to see it absolutely everywhere in tops or trousers or is people that, wearing it in Is boat. that a top or is that a dress? It's, it's a top, but it could also... be worn as a dress but it actually is a top we're just using a little bit of creative license here okay so the the lengths are very short is that it my millies are back yes oh really which is very unfortunate for the majority of us majority so that would never people. wear anything above our knees yeah. but they are I was just about to say it's a kind of a Grecian look and the shoes kind of tell that as well don't they? a lot of very strappy shoes with straps that go all up the ankle it, there seems to be a lot of influence on highlighting the ankle Mm -hmm. in, in shoes this season. Right. It's a very flowy look, isn't it? Even though there's not a lot of it there. <laughs> and with, with fabrics like Lasted. silk or satin, you really need to, you can't have them too tight because they're very, very difficult to wear. Okay, and those are the prices? The gold dress is 58 euro from Warehouse and the shoes are 65 euro from Shoe. Lovely, thanks very much, Holly. And um, I presume the Jill Saunders version would be a little bit more than 58 euros. Would Funnily it? enough. Funnily <laughs> enough. Okay, Karen is joining us now. Um, and what we're looking at here is because satin or silk is very difficult to wear, you can go for options like this, going for a, a satin blouse. Now this blouse is from Regine, and satin is actually a man-made fibre, it's not... And is satin difficult to wear? It can be, if it's a very light fabric. If it's a light fabric, it'll, it'll sort of sit oh, yeah. in places okay. and show up things right, that you don't yeah. want to show. But this is actually a very good, satin's actually made from polyester. 
and from man-made fabric. So, so the centerpiece is nice there. The belt, this is an obi belt from costume. What does obi mean? Obi is from the Japanese, you know, they oh, wore them around the Oh, yes, kimono. yes, yes, the wraparounds. And there's... Mm. there's It's been a very big influence on, on Japanese and nice wear skirt. and obis have been in the last year or so. Mm -hmm. And I love the way at the back it kind of makes a, you know, this big bow and a, a long version of it there. Yeah, you can, you see can it actually, there, there. you can tie it around the front or you can let them hang around the back. And it's basically, it's taking influence from the Japanese, from okay. the kimono style. Okay, value there, looking at the prices. So the blouse, it's actually on sale in Regina Cleary's for 31 euro. It was 105. Mm. Um, it was their autumn winter collection, but this is a key colour for the spring summer. The skirt is from the Kilkenny shop for 120, and they're actually having their fashion show this evening. And we're going to see their All fashion right. show, so see what's coming in for them for spring summer. And the shoes are from Dunn Stores for 25 euro. They're really pretty. Lovely. Okay, very thanks very much for that, Karen. Now, Andrea is, uh, it's a TV look. Sex and the City. Six, uh, Sex and the City, This yeah. is the Carrie look. What does uh, that mean? On Sex and the City. Oh, she's Carrie. Carrie, Carrie is a character. Uh, oh, right. Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, yeah. And Sarah Jessica Parker is always known for wearing very flimsy, very sexy, very flirty, um, girly sophistication. Kind of 50s look, is it? The there's, there's a huge influence of is 50s it? back mm -hmm. in this Carrie Sex and the City style look. Oh, I see. Or the Pretty Woman style look. And Peach, how long has it been since you've seen the colour Peach? I know, I know. Around the shops. And it's... And it's, it's one of the one of key colours that will be brought in because it's all about candy colours. And those are box pleats, are they not? Box pleats. Difficult enough to wear, but they look so... And when she swings... They, swing, they look swing so there. Pretty. And, uh, yeah, it is lovely, isn't it? We've been playing it really with the skirt. Is. Thanks, Andrea. <coughs> out the back, and what about the, yeah, the prices on that? This is from a new shop called Reese on Stephen's Green Centre. It's actually oh. a UK-based store, um, and this is the first store outside of the UK. There are 25 shops over there. So the top is 125 euro. The skirt is 131 euro. All natural fibres, wool and cotton. That's not cheap, sure it's not. It's about, you know, I was thinking, it's the same prices around as Karen Millen or French Connection or uh -huh. places like that. And is it that kind of it's vibe sort of that you get from that shop? Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's mid-range prices. And, and the, the shoes, shoes are? The selfages for 50 euro. Okay, all right. Thanks very much for that, Andrea. And again, part of the flirty 50s. Yeah, yeah, really nice. I like the shoes, they're cute. Now, Karen is joining us again, and this is, um, oh, it's kind of oriental, isn't it? Japanese skirt. influence. <laughs> yeah, because she had a quick change, we just um, put on a, a new top. The oriental influence is, is very big this year in that tops are very kimono style. Fabrics could be chiffon or satin or silk. And the patterns on them would sort of be reminiscent of Chinese patterns. It could be dragons. It could be the silk blouses on um, yeah. the, the silk, uh, if you imagine silk wall hangings, Chinese silk wall hangings. So they could be blossoms from a Chinese print. Mm -hmm. So this is all, and they have a natural obi in this, in this actual top. It's kimono style top. And I they, like that, I like that. That's all part of the, the blouse, is it? It's all the, part the of belt. the blouse. And it really, it really actually just brings up the whole look and, and it's again also tied at the back on the which figure is nice too because it brings you in at the waist and then sort of is loose slightly underneath the waist mm -hmm. to allow for the for the belly area yeah and the, the glittery bits on the top are lovely too and they just add a little it's a little bit of glamour a little bit of shimmer so that you can wear this out at night time yeah it's every different fabric but the key is is the um, pattern that you'll find and the style oh right and the the, the flimsy look isn't yeah it? okay that's lovely thanks very much for that Karen now um, we've another section in the city have we we have a, a is this second Carrie one. again this is one of the reasons I it's wanted to uh, look at this Holly look. by the way is Holly coming is coming out <coughs> one of the reasons I wanted to show you this is again just the colors that are coming in for spring summer they're very muted aren't they very muted and, and mixed mixing colors like pinks with um, these sort of salmony uh, or the salmony pinks with the yellows and the yellow again is another colour like the peach that we probably haven't seen in a long time mm. um, in the shops. They go well together though don't they? The, very the, the bright, together. the vibrant colour underneath the, the, the coat is nice. Is that a kind of a raincoat? It's, a, it's a, like a mac and trench coats are another big seasonal uh, wish list item. Mm -hmm. But trench coats are very difficult to wear because they're belted at the waist. Ah, Unless right. they're very expensive they can make your hips look rather huge. So interesting open I work there on the skirt, isn't there? This again is another skirt from Reese. And what I'm finding from this shop is they're very like a boutique. They seem to do very high quality oh. and high sort of styled. Look at those. 
These are the 50 shoes. Yeah, they're these, like something you see from the movies, aren't they? And Carrie Hill in Sex and the City, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, has been wearing shoes like these. Oh, has she? But they, of course, they've been wearing them from Manila Blahniks, which is what <laughs> Carrie always wears. Okay, but we've got well, here's the price. Decidedly now. more high street prices. <clears throat> the coat is from. The coat is from Principles at 105 euro. The little yellow top from Reese's, that's a silk top at 114 Ooh, euro. Oh, wow, that's expensive, isn't it? The peach skirt from Reese's is 131 euro. And the shoes from the Selfridges are 61 euro. Cheapest, the shoes are the best value. Well, they're, yeah. they're, they're cheapest, okay. The shoes, they're lovely, the really nice. Great. Okay, thanks very much for that, Holly. And now Andrea is back. This is a totally, totally different look. This is. When this would you wear this now, Shana? When would I wear it? Or when yeah, would, when would, would one wear it? it? When would one wear this it? This is going out clubbing at night time. This is the is new it? clubbing look. What's happened is combat <laughs> have been in. It's a bit of in. everything really, isn't it? <laughs> combat have been in for so long that they wanted to bring them in this year with a new flair. And the new flair is to mix combats with vintage. So you have a vintage silky satiny top mixed with... And those cutaway arms, are they part of it and everything and the... Well, that would be part of the vintage yeah. style top. And then the trousers, the combat, a combat trouser is anything that has pockets more inside like or details. Though. Well, for, mm -hmm. I, I suppose, for the very young person, the combats are coming up to the knees. And which tighter. Are, and very tight, very fitted, very <coughs> tailored. And those shoes, my goodness. They're amazing. Don't they remind you of the 80s? <laughs> well, would, they, would you wear them with those combats? Yeah. That's the look, isn't That's it? That's the look, very, I very see. high heels. Wow. And that's why it is an evening look. And they're taking the combats from the grungy daytime look to very high sophistication. Well, that's a new one on me, I have to say. And those are the prices there then? The top is from Karen Millen at 125. The combats are Topshop at 65 euro. And the shoes are Topshop. They've brought out a new range of shoes and they're the most sought after and desired are they? label of shoes from the models down to everybody who's just going into the high street shops. They're 68 Well, euro. they certainly draw attention to themselves, that's for sure. Isn't that what you want? They will, exactly. Yeah, Especially if, you, if you're wearing a sort of a muted colour outfit, just splash on a pair of Put on pink those shoes. pink shoes. Thanks very much, Andrea. It's a very bright look. I wouldn't say if you were wearing them around town all day, would we're you? We're going to tone it down now. Oh, right. Because we're getting the same look. Karen is here to but tone in a more, down. Without the pink shoes. Without the pink shoes. And I, I really like that flowy look. The sleeves are lovely, aren't they? The way they And move. it does take, it takes a little bit from the flowy gypsy from last year, but it's actually taken it and moved it into oriental. Again, this top is the same oriental kimono style. And it has, it's not actually a satin, but there is a sheen to it. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about dressing up your combats, it's about dressing them up with sheeny tops or dressier tops than we would have done last year. And uh, they're kind of cropped, aren't they? They only go to your waist and they're kind of cut under the bust, aren't they? Isn't they're it? a very empire line. Yes. Which is actually good. It's quite it's quite handy for the stomach because it's looser on the stomach. All oh, right. And okay. also you can vary, you know, I like the trousers. The, size. the trousers are from Quinn and Donnelly and they're combats, but they look like a very tailored pair are they of kind linen of linen trousers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are linen trousers. Very, and the colour's gorgeous. So and, and yet, khaki green. while they are tailored, they, you've still got the fashion aspect of them being combats. They are lovely. And they are so lovely. the top there is done stores for 30 euro, which I think is a, a mm -hmm. brilliant find in there. The combats are Quinn and Donnelly at A-Wear for, for 90 euro. And the shoes are Karen Millen for 160 euro. The shoes are more expensive than, <laughs> than the, the whole outfit put together. Thank you very much for that, Karen, because you, you'll always find something, won't you, Shana, that'll say in yes. In shoes. In <laughs> shoes, yes. You're like a Melda Marcos, aren't you? Exactly. Okay, well, listen, thanks for that. You're going to continue with the spring look next next week. For the next few weeks, we're going to look at the designers, what, what the Irish designers are doing with spring, summer, and then we're going to look at some of the specialist larger sizes shops mm -hmm. the week after and see what they're doing with spring, All right, summer. Okay, so from um, Imelda Marcos, and from me, it's over to you there, Marty. What? The shoe fetish. It's pardon? over here. We have a shoe fetish. Well, that's your department. <laughs> Definitely your department. Um, now, um, we were just looking at the clothes there, and uh, Mary and Shane are both saying kind of an 80s vibe.